Hello friends and welcome back to the channel where I have decided to press my luck with these Valiant Omega Crystals. Omega Days event started last week. I had some really good luck, opened up a bunch of these crystals live, got every seven star I think, except for Corvus and Omega Sentinel. Ended up getting Omega Sentinel from the selector after I couldn't pull it from a crystal. And I kind of really do want seven star Corvus uh, just to kind of have him. You know, the collector in me really wants to, you know, catch them all type mentality, right? So I've got 22 more of these Valiant Omega Crystals. Hopefully you can pull seven star Corvus or Sig levels on one of the other seven star Omega Champs or any seven star would be fantastic from these. We're gonna go ahead and open these. But first off, a word from today's sponsor. Folks, if you're interested in a turn-based strategy game with incredible visuals and deep RPG mechanics, look no further because Raid Shadow Legends is better than ever. For a limited time only, scan the QR code on the screen or use the link in the description below to get two epic champions and a whole bunch of loot absolutely free and stick around because you're not going to want to miss out on how you could win a current gen gaming console and ten thousand dollars in amazon gift cards one of the things that really surprised me about raid when i started playing it is how much strategy and depth there really was to it way more than i expected from a mobile game like this and the combat in particular reminded me of some old pc turn-based strategy games that my dad and i used to play when i was much much younger so for me personally there's a little bit of nostalgia with raid that I really do appreciate. The other great thing about Raid is that there is so much content I can pick it up and play for as little or as long as I want and I will always have something to do. You know, my MCOC account is pretty robust and I often find myself waiting for new content to drop, but having Raid available to challenge me like this is really gonna scratch that itch that I have for some strategy. From May 15th through May 30th, new players only can enter to win a current gen gaming console and over $10,000 in Amazon gift cards. All you have to do is download the game using one of my links, head over to springhunt.polarium.com, enter your user ID. It is as simple as that. In addition, everyone who logs in for seven days between now and July 8th will be given the brand new legendary champion Chronicler Adeline, who looks awesome. And you know I love that black and gold checkerboard pattern right there. Now if all of that was enough, Raid is also offering my subscribers two epic champions, Tyrell and Rector Draft for free plus a whole bunch of other goodies when you use one of my links to download the game. Use the code SPRINGHUNT24 to get some more XP brews, 100 energy, and 100,000 silver. Again, absolutely free. So join me in Raid Shadow Legends using the QR code on screen or the link in the description below, and I'll see you in Teleria. Thank you once again to Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring today's video. I really appreciate it, and that's what enabled me to go ahead and get these extra Valiant Omega Crystals. Let's go ahead and uh, spin these. We're gonna do team spin since it's a video. I know Team Pop gave me some uh, some luck during the uh, the stream, but we're gonna go uh, spin to win here. So we got 22 of them to open. Any seven star out of here, I think would be a big win, but specifically we're looking for seven star Corvus Glaive. That would be great. If we get them twice, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna press my luck with twice, but once would be, would be pretty good. Five star Dragon Man, uh, at least it's, actually I can't even say that because there's no four stars in here. <laughs> These Valiant Crystals are like super dangerous it feels like because the drop rate for a 7 star champ in these I think is like 3% overall between the Omega Champs uh, and the regular champs um, and they just came out with like a regular Valiant Crystal. Uh, where the drop rate is pretty close to that too. Five star Omega Sentinel, I think she's max sig, so most of these champs are gonna be max sig crystals, I think. Oh, she's not max sig, okay, that's fine. Okay, uh, this is number three. I was, uh, I, I don't know what you guys thought about the Omega Days event. Uh, I was pretty pleased with it overall. The addition of the selector at the end of the track, I think was a really, smart move by them because for somebody like me I had a lot of really good luck throughout the opening uh, and I and I didn't really want to max out the event and 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 go past the um, the rank 3 gem I didn't really care about the awakening gem the sigs and the selector because I think foolishly I had expected to uh, maybe get <laughs> Omega Sentinel until then uh, and when I ended up not getting her uh, then it was only then that I was like legitimately tempted to go uh, further and go to the end of the track. So, 
Uh, so far, nothing to write home with in these uh, in these crystals. All five stars so far. Um, yep. Hopefully, we'll see at least one seven star. I think the drop rate for the Omega Champs is like one and a half percent, and then there's a one and a half percent chance for any other seven star. So again, three percent total for any seven star, which would be great. Uh, Mega Sentinel Wrong Rarity. I did use the Sigs from the track on my uh, seven star, so I awakened her. And I took up to Sig 100, and that left me one Sig Stone left over because I I felt weird like putting her at Sig 101, right? So uh, we left her at Sig 100, and I'll just say I'll just save the the extra Sig Stone because it looks cool, and I, I hoard stuff as you guys know. All right, I've already lost count of what number crystal this is. We got uh, five star I Doom. Have we pulled other than that six star Omega Sentinel? Have we pulled any? Um, any other six stars yet? I think they've all been five stars. I see a bunch of seven stars floating around in the reel. I wish the reel actually meant something. <laughs> and nothing good come around the corner. I think he is max sig. As far as rank ups go, I took, like I said, I took Omega Sentinel up to rank three. Um, I took Long Shot up to rank two since I pulled him like four or five times from that opening. So he's up at like sig 60 natural which is wild. And I think I'm gonna rank up Mole Man as well, but I'm kind of hesitating on Mole Man just because I have Chilth, uh, and they're very similar champs. And I, I prefer, I personally prefer Chilth, even though I think they're both very, very good champs. All right, six star Gladiator Hulk. Man, that dude is in serious need of a rework. Remember when Gladiator Hulk came out as like a, like a magic counter? And, uh, and then we got like, what felt like a bunch of extra magic counters and and then Gladiator Hope just kind of fell off the face of the earth. He doesn't really have anything <laughs> going on in his kit that's relevant anymore in 2024. <laughs> All right, nothing, nothing spicy coming out of these. No, no, no even like seven star teasers in the reel. Stop? Nope, that was definitely not stopping. <laughs> you can, you can always kind of tell when it's there's just too much momentum on the reel <laughs> for it to stop on a 7 star. That would have been a first time dupe, I think, on Terax too. I would have been uh, pretty happy with that. We need to maybe back out after we, when we have 10 left, we'll back out and kind of reset. I don't even know if that's going to do anything, but you know, I'll tell myself that it does. 5 star Quicksilver, oof, oof. No 7 stars, 3% chance, still pretty low, but you know. Better than 1%, I guess. It's three times the normal chance. He tricks himself into believing. Nope. <laughs> Star Korg, that rocket would have been a, like a SIG 40, maybe? I don't remember. All right, so we have 10 left. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll back out of here. Go in. We'll do the uh, ye old pet method. You guys remember the pet method? Only OGs remember the pet method. All right, ten left. Let's hope for uh, one better than better than bad pull out of these last ten here. Six star Quicksilver. That's a max sig. We haven't even gotten enough six stars to like uh, get to my next seven star basic. Um, I'd have to, I'll have to check the uh, check my my shards after I do this opening. Maybe I'll add on a uh, seven star opening to the end of this if I have enough, or if I'm close rather to the. Uh, the next amount in 15k. Nope, nothing good there. Six star Falcon. Oof. All these champs I have already a seven star, so I'm not even like tempted, even in the slightest, to rank them up as six stars. Feel really feel like six stars have maybe finally like reached like the end of their life cycle. Like you know, rank three is becoming more common here, and uh, ascended six stars. I think are kind of hitting the limit of their usefulness um, because they are just slightly underpowered compared to rank threes and as rank threes become more common ascended six stars just aren't going to cut it anymore so I've been more picky with my six star rank ups as of late um, kind of focusing more on champions uh, that are probably not going to be coming as seven stars anytime soon uh, five star venom pool woof no seven stars in this opening. What a bummer. 
We got six attempts left. So all is not lost. That six, seven star Corvus taunting us at the beginning of the reel there. Will he pop out of one of these final six crystals? Please, RN Jesus. Oof. Thought that might have rolled over onto Shang-Chi. No such luck. Six star Sasquatch. Oh, we got five, five chances left. Oh, come on. Any any seven star at this point would be would be fine. Any any seven star in the game, please. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oof. You know, the 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 tinfoil hat theorist in me feels like you know, on the day of Omega Days, everybody was pulling seven stars out the wazoo. My my alliance mate DLL pulled like four or five seven stars from his first 20 crystals. It was it was wild. But now, you know, I feel maybe maybe the conspiracy theorist in me feels like, okay, well, the uh, this is obviously not the case, but like the rates have been changed behind the scenes and, and nobody's getting seven stars anymore. All I'm getting is five star Loki. Ooh. Oh. All right, can we get one one seven star out of any of these we have this and two more three chances left for any seven star champion i'll take any one of them any seven star in the game even that gambit i will take oh more five stars oh at least that was a new champ hooray i'm <laughs> missing deadpool as a five star maybe was he exclusive for a while maybe that was it all right two chances left any seven star in the game, please. I don't care if it's an Omega Champ or not. Any seven star. Please. Do it. Seven star. No! No more five stars. Ooh, what a what a rough opening this has been, guys. What a super rough opening. Only like a handful of six stars. Mostly five stars. This is the last attempt for 7-star Corvus, or any other 7-star out of these Valiant Crystals. My unit stash needs to be rebuilt before I would consider spending them on any more of these uh, Valiant Crystals. So, last spin of the day is giving us, as expected, yet another 5-star champion. And uh, absolute woof on these, uh, these 22 crystals, you guys. Just really, really bad opening. No 7-stars, only a handful of 6-stars. Oh man, a couple of max sig crystals, yeah, well, that's why you uh, probably shouldn't spend on, on crystals, is, is the lesson we've learned today, so. Alright folks, that's going to do it for today's crystal opening, again, thanks to uh, Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring the video, and as always, thank you very much for watching, see you again next time.